Golston L. Bay. Brother Solomon, please. Every Sunday night, well, greetings, Richwood. Greetings. Greetings. And not just Richwood, but you very people of Richwood who are right here. And we're so very thankful to the Burke family for the love and the generosity that they extend to you. What could we do without this love that they put into action? And the name Richwood was a town that you may already know that the lady who wrote this book entitled Return of the Ancient Ones, the true history uncovered of the Washita D.W. Demonia Empire. I will not read chapter nine. Chapter nine, she was a little angry. Well, she was very angry. <laughs> because in chapter nine, she said, I ate this. I read these things. She, I taught my son these things. She was a very intelligent lady in school. But she realized that everything she was reading, she had to go turn it around and check it herself because they had his story. So she went and wrote her story. This is how the announcement to the ancestors began when on every Sunday night because they're remembering those who went before them. And it says, I say, so it is. That's what she said. She said, so it is, so it must be. I came to set the empire free. Mm -hmm. Not my mother, uh -huh. not my daddy, mm -hmm. not my sister, not my brother, mm -hmm. just me. So that says that you one day you one day, you one day, you, my brother, she has lit the candle. She's lit the light so that all of you can come to know the truth that she knew, which was, she told a federal judge, she said, when she had to go before a federal court about the land, she said, Judge, whether you find me innocent, or whether you find me guilty, this courthouse is sitting on my land. Now she was strong, she was brave, right? She told the judge that she went all the way to the United Nations. And they gave the land back in light of Turner Harris versus the United States. But now they gotta mark the land up. That's why we on the phone call every Sunday night. Her son. But this is the, the announcement to the ancestors is. We are thankful to the greatest spirit for setting us in the Washita, D.W. Demonia. This is the Washita, D.W. Demonia. We dug the mounds of Yah. There are mounds over here at Poverty Point. Anybody been to Poverty Point Mounds? And you go up on that mounds now, when she's trying to explain it to you, turns over in the Bible into Exodus the 20th chapter the 26th where it mentions build me mounds of earth well God is telling Moses to build mounds of earth and that's why I didn't build mounds of earth and but don't build steps up to my mounds or I will reveal your neck so when I go I walk on the side mm -hmm. and we were up on the mounds just yesterday yeah and what did you feel up on top of that mound, brother? Oh my God, the energy uh, is, is just is awesome. It's just very awesome. It's power. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's very energetic. Uh, it's refreshing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's renewing. Yeah. So, so when you go to that mound, whether it's there, there's a brother, his name Brother Uma, he teaches uh, about inventions and so forth, and he also has these pyramids in America. So that 
the map he had showed y'all the mounds throughout the United States were up. So the Empress didn't, just didn't think this up, you know, quote unquote. God thought it up. Right now there's a court, as you heard of people going to court, right? I know, uh, you know, when they go to court, they're trying to get something settled. So in the Supreme Court case, the Turner Harris versus the United States, they went to court. And right now, they're trying to write letters this very night, Monday night, Frederick Joe Washington is authorized the brother to, you know, anybody who wants to send a letter to Congress in your own words about, hey, about the Washington. We want to come before Congress so you can tell us about this law, about this land. And what can they tell you? But important things on this earth could not read or write, she said. 
And what is that important thing? And we want to get to that. Is that even if he could, even if he could, the Joseph and Mason Roots grant was nowhere in the history book. That grant. A grant is when somebody gives you something, right? Yeah. No job before. The king of Spain said, hey, get me my nephew over here so I can save his life. And that's what old Baron and Bastard did. Brought him up to the page. Yeah, it is. And they gave him both Spanish land grants. And the Empress said, Spanish land grants are good until they stay. They won't tell you that. <laughs> so she knows she got the Spanish land grant, and this is her land. Went to the United Nations. Then it says here, no way to lose that. The Mason Rouge gave a name to him when he was on his deathbed. So here Mason Rouge, the man who came over and he gave a name to that he would remember the grant. As he nursed Henry and Mary Clark of Lucy Clark ancestry, who reared Grant and Henry Bell Turner. I saw it all too clearly now. It was divine providence. We're not just here by ourselves. That's right. You know, God, the presence, the greatest spirit, wants you to know. It was divine providence and a living God who made Ophelia and I, her little friend, and the next friend and I, to follow the little black stump of a man to a corner where he was selling out with his monthly rounds to worship on the mountains. My brother, you went to the mountains. Yes. I hope that you will help help where you can take young people eventually, mm -hmm. many to the mountains, many to the places that the Empress had set out and you and Ben. She was set to you yes. um, This thing says, uh, I saw it all too clearly now. It was divine providence and living God made Ophelia and I the little black stump of a man to the corner when he was starved out his monthly rounds to worship on the mound. Hmm. He would stop at each of his offsprings on the circuit. Hmm. Go by his offspring. You know, your family ain't gonna always agree with you, right? But he would go by, he would stop at the, each of the offspring of his, on his circuit. Oh, how we wanted to follow Greg. She said, oh, how we wanted to follow Greg. I know I'm talking about it now. You probably like to go right now. Oh, how we like to follow Grant. Even now, I wish I could stay. Then you page 19 of the Charlotte Woods. Just a couple of days. One of page 20. On that mound that Moses stood on. You know one of the brothers up in Detroit, let me know, because they went to the attorney general. He took the law to him and took the information true. And the Attorney General wrote that Michigan wants to the Washington. Michigan. To Brother Solomon. Professor Solomon. So please, if, if someone would take a picture, someone bring out your camera. Somebody? Yes, I'm right here. Please. Thank you, Chef. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. And I would like to pre present this proclamation to Brother Solomon from the town of Richwood. From the Washington All right. Excellent. Thank All right. You. A round of applause. Our empress in California, and uh, we're very thankful for the love that you have shown to the Empire of Washita D. W. Monument. Just doing your part, but a great humongous spot for your whole family. And we're so thankful for that. It's thankful for the truth, thankful for the love that 
we'll go back to the... Oh, really? Exactly, Zachary High School. He, he's a government teacher. Oh, yeah, it's your boy, Yakin and Israel. Yeah, we back. We back on the plantation, y'all. But guess what? This time we in charge, all right? Cool, right? Told me you. Did. Yeah. Great. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Thanks, brother. You know, I went to wow. ask a question about a relative up in Monroe. Still fixing it up. Is it his and her bathroom on the outside? I got a shower in here. I got a little small kitchen. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Put like half a whatever animal up in here, like a half a cow or a half or a whole Sean, pig. Sean, you got to send me some pictures. Yeah. 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 yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Like, 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 hey, you back on the plantation, uh, uh, brother Solomon, but this time you're in charge, lighting up. It's okay, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> So, so, brother Birch, brother Birch, yeah. these are the actual levees. That, that you, these levees go all throughout Louisiana. Uh, 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 by the river. Yeah. By the rivers. Uh huh. They belong to the Army Corps of Engineers, FEMA. Okay. And it came almost all the way up to the top. Can you believe that? As far as that river is down below. Wow. Dug the Munya River. Man. And we're here. So this map was prepared for the at Donaldsville. And on the map, Louisiana, is here's the claim of Baron de Bastrop. Wow. In the book, Mr. Bastrop was the one who, when Marie Antoinette got her head cut off, it was said that he had been in the Holland, he had been in prison. Because in Holland, he was accused of allegedly stole the Holland treasury, mm -hmm. and when he, when the, when the heads were cut off, Louis the Fourteenth and Marie Antoinette, the king over in Spain said, "Get me my nephew over here, so I can save his life," mm -hmm. and he was the one that brought him over to uh, the king of Spain, and the king of Spain gave him Spanish land grants right here in Louisiana. That's why Louisiana would be called Louisiana, Louis the Fourteenth. And Marie Antoinette. Hmm. Okay. And also, so the key thing is not only Baron the Bastion claim is here, there should be a claim for Marquise de Mason Rouge, which would be right, which would be right here where we at. Mm -hmm. And let's say it's a uh, bio. And I want to say, see that Doug Demonia River. So here in 1850, you knew who I was. Hmm. Because you wrote it down. Wow. And now you're saying these Washington, are you saying the Washington? 